a million different things a person could drink on any given day. You chose these. Tell me about it. Well, the reason that we chose these, an excellent question, is uh, Burning Bones loves to support local. So all three of these are local beers, and oh. they all have to be, they all happen to be uh, skull themed. Oh! Bones, skulls. Oh! Yeah, so that's why we picked them. Do we light these on fire? Before yeah, we drink them? I actually brought a lighter. Fantastic. Yeah. That's a lot of, that's, what is the alcohol content? 90%? Holy hell, that's quite a beer. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh, we have Dead Guy Ale Rogue, gratefully dedicated to the rogue in each of us. And this is one that we've carried oh. through our production. So the last show that we did in person was a show called One for the Road, and we actually um, connected the road yeah. and the dead guy. Mm -hmm. I got it. Burning Bones Physical Theater is doing a play, a physical play, here at Nick Deity Studios. We're doing a show here, it is called Harry Clark. It's a really great piece. It's a one-man show that we've kind of adapted into a two-person show. The theater folk would call it a two-hander. But um, yeah, we're just kind of exploring the ideas of like what being masculine means. And it's kind of like, you know, Frankie was really drawn to the piece because they saw this element of it that was like, you know, what is the American dream? And there are elements in the show that are like the American dream is ultimately like who can you manipulate and who can you lie to to get where you need to get to in life. God damn it, that's so true, isn't it? Yeah. You have this man who basically puts on a fake persona and then manipulates a family and destroys it, essentially. Not to give away too much, because we want you to come see it. So a lot of Burning Bones is Butoh inspired dance. A lot of the imagery that they work with is the idea of like new life coming from destruction and the cycle of life. So a lot of images will be like, you know, one of them is a seed is planted in your belly. And so the idea then is you work off of what's the physical manifestation of that seed as it grows into this beautiful plant that comes out of your mouth. And as it like siphons off the life in your body, how do you still build this beautiful flower outside of you? Stuff like that. Frankie is uh, the actual artistic director of Burning Bones. They founded it. And um, they have a huge background in physical theater. It's what their BFA is in. Oh, wow. And they also have a master's in occupational therapy that they married together. So a lot of the work that they do is based out of like organic intelligence and the vagus nerve. So like... They're, they're a teacher as well. So that gets incorporated. That's where they all kind of titrate together is like sh they teach that and then incorporate it into kind of the ensemble building that Burning Bones likes to do. You know, I think one of our strongest suits is that Frankie and I both have really strong points of view towards the words that we choose to produce and the words that we choose to put up. Harry Clark has never been told in this way. And that's kind of what we aim to do with our theater company is never tell a story in the in a way that you've seen it before. It's always going to be in a new light. Nice. <laughs>